Okay, folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is going to be another project with a cone head and a hat. And it's going to be an animal this time. We'll let you figure that out when we get further along here. We'll make it a little bit of a mystery before we go any further. The first thing you want to do is get a block of wood that's four and a half, well, I'm sorry, four inches by one and a quarter by one inch. Okay, one inch square at the top. A uh, one and three, uh, one and one quarter on the bottom. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, cut this down. All right. So we're going to take down the corners. Uh, we're going to mark our piece first. It's about maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. And then down here, it's pretty far. Um, probably one. Well, that's one and a quarter. Uh, about one and a half inches down. Okay, then on the side here, it's probably uh, three quarters of an inch down on each side. So what you want to do is draw a line from corner to corner and to, towards the back. And uh, now I thought of this before I had gone away for a few days, and I've been really busy getting the camper um, done. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go up a little ways, okay, at, at, the, at an angle. Not real bad, but uh, we want to try to get that out just like so. All right. We're going to follow our lines. And follow our lines. Put our stop cuts in. Now, if you're new to carving, a stop cut is simply a cut that tells the knife where to stop. Okay, I want it to stop at that line. And so we put a, a, a stop cut in. Okay, and that's just like scoring it, if you want to call it that. Let's go up here at the top and we'll notch that out. All right. Once we notch this out a little bit, I'm going to start rounding off the hat. Actually, what this is going to be, and what I'm going to attempt to do it from memory, because uh, I have nothing to go by. Many of you know I kind of just take a piece of wood and I, I go with it. This particular piece, I'm going to put a fireman's hat on a on a Dalmatian, okay? And uh, the Dalmatian um, will be kind of long and lanky. Uh, his ears will come out here on the side. The hat will be draped over his nose a bit. So we need to kind of cut this back just a tad. All right, we're going to cut all these corners off right away. But we have our notches to know where where it's supposed to be. Now, the other thing with this hat, before we go any further, we need to cut it at an angle as well. Okay, so this hat's going to go from here. It's going to come down a little ways. Come down. Almost almost a whor you know parallel to what we have there and then this is going to come off okay and the same thing over here so this is the top of the hat and then we're going to take it down to here all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop this off as well we may as well do that now and i'm going to use my solution here that i normally use to speed the process up um, this is rubbing alcohol, 70%. Uh, you can buy it at any Walmart or, or pharmacy or any, really any store that has, um, where you buy your aspirin and stuff and fill it up with a bottle with 50% uh, rubbing alcohol, 50% water. This is an old, um, hair, um, um, a hair bottle, a sprayer. So what you want to do is just spray it a couple of minutes and then go ahead and start chopping it off. And we'll make it easier. As you can see, I'm slicing through that pretty well. I have a feeling my knives need to be resharpened. So I'm going to have to take it to my machine, which is the Tom's machine, and kind of reshape them. Not reshape them, but get them back to a real good sharpening. Um, status again and when you're when you're carving it's important to um, to 
to use a strop. Now, some of you that don't know what a strop is, it's just a piece of leather on a, on a stick. I have a two-sided one here with a, uh, with a compound on it uh, for sharpening tools. And every 15-20 minutes, I'll use this to uh, put the edge back on that blade. All right, go a few times on either side. So what we're going to do is we're going to just keep, see it just gives it that little extra edge it needs sometimes. I'm going to go straight across here. Let's go. See how it cuts like butter when it's wet? Now you can use water, but the reason we use the rubbing alcohol is that it will dry quickly. Now, one word of caution. This is the first time you're hearing this, and I know I've been repeating this. Use it sparingly. And why do I say that? Well, if you soak it to death, it has a real good chance of um, checking on you the next day. I did that mistake with um, my little, um, I'm trying to think which one I was working on, the, the chipmunk. And I had like 15 different checks or cracks in it when it was done, all these little hairline cracks. You want to be careful when you do that. I did fix it. I show you on the video, or if you go back to that that project, it will tell you how to fix that with some some um, glue and sawdust. I'm just trying to hold this so we can get this kind of done without putting a lot of time into this. Okay, now. We have the hat going down, okay, and this is the hat here. Now, this will be a bit deeper down here because the hat's going to come up kind of straight and then come down. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep cutting this out underneath. We're not going to worry about anything else right now. And we put our little stop cuts in there, so we're going to try to round up this hat a little bit more. I want the hat proportion somewhat. I'm going to take that point off because that's going to come off here. And really what we're trying to do here is this will be kind of flat here. Remember on a fireman's hat it's kind of flat. They're a little bit rounded. I'm going from memory folks so I don't have any pictures in front of me. I'm just going from what I remember as a kid because we got one of these when we rode on a, this is going back in the 60s. I remember riding in the fire truck and an open fire truck in the back and we all got hats. I don't know if they do that anymore or not, but it was pretty cool. So we're going to round this off just like so. All right. I'm going to round this off over here. I'm going to round this off over here, and we're going to bring this up straight. All right, and a little bit of a curvature there. Once we get the fireman's cap done, uh, we can start with the dog. I want to get me a. I, I want to get a real good sense of. Ooh, the hat. Now, of course, this is going to be rounded a little bit, so we're going to take this off. All right, we'll be right back, folks. 